All right. 07 was the worst season in the history of snowboarding. Fortunately, we had the 10 best riders in the universe and a Hollywood-sized travel budget. So we could chase the snow wherever it blew. With our guys getting hurt, losing a couple sponsors, constantly bitching, we still managed to pull off the best film ever made. So enjoy. It seemed like this season was all about chasing the weather and trying to find something new to ride and keep it fresh. I've been snowboarding for like 15 years now and even though you can have your down days here and there, I don't think I'll ever give up on it. Right. Right. 
if I have five words left and I'm about to fucking expire, I'm probably not going to say Tron Funkin' Blow. This year was my first year filming a snowboarding part. It was really tough. I broke my arm and uh, we had a lot of bad days and we had a lot of good days too. So uh, all in all in the end it ended up being one of the best years of my life. This is detail, and uh, this is how it went down. I was riding a lot, having a good time this season, and uh, was riding one day down the backside of Aspen Mountain, having a great time, and my life changed. You okay? No. I got hit by a snowmobile. Broke my leg in 17 different places, and uh, my face in five. I haven't ridden since. Yeah, my friends are the best, man. Even though I wasn't out there this winter, they held it down and uh, they made me proud, you know? I love those guys. And snowboarding's the dopest thing in the world. I can't wait to get back on my snowboard. The day I can put myself in that position again, I'm gonna. So, you know, if you got the love for the sport, you can feel me. One, 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 one. This year was special in the sense that the amount of traveling was, it was the least I've ever done in my whole career. And lots of what I did was right, right in my neighborhood and like right where I grew up.
I grew up in a small town in Wyoming. I've spent most of my life working on my family's cattle ranch. Snowboarding's given me the chance to get out and see the rest of the world. Every summer, I'm back on the ranch trying to make enough money to do it all over again. I wouldn't have it any other way. She returned to her seat and again fixed. She returned to her seat and again fixed her stare upon the wispy white sphere. Within a minute, it was summarily dispersed into nothingness, masterfully merging with its bright blue background. I was amazed. Was it merely the wind currents? Or did she actually possess this miraculous power? How did you do that? I seriously inquired. It's really no big deal, she shrugged. It just takes intense concentration, a lot of practice, and a determined willingness to believe that it will happen. Anyone can do it, really, even you. Would you like to try? The sky was shockingly blue and clear, and the sun blinding, addling the brain and shocking the senses into submission. Even now, I gag at the recollection. After last year's part in Who Cares, everybody wanted to know what was next from Shane Flood. Well, nothing. Sick of all the bullshit, he called his sponsors and quit. And this is his last day snowboarding as a professional.
doggy and our tail. Snowboarding is everything. It's what I do every single day. It's my lifestyle. My life revolves around it. I put everything I have into it because I love it. And, uh, you know, I didn't drop out of high school for something I didn't love, you know. Give it to the summertime and we'll see. We'll drive it or maybe we'll send it out. 